Throughout its 50-year history, Kalamazoo Valley Community College has been there to meet the needs of students and the community. In 1966, state and local studies indicated a need for vocational education and to expand access to college in West Michigan. The community voted and Kalamazoo Valley Community College was established. A visionary board of trustees was locally elected and things began to move forward very quickly. Dale Lake came on board as the first president and 185 acres of farmland in Texas Township, used to grow corn for popcorn, was chosen as the campus site. Redwood, a prefab classroom, was shipped in and classes began. The college had hit the ground running, providing traditional and non-traditional students a place to begin. Soon it became necessary to expand, and Alden B. Dow, a student of Frank Lloyd Wright, was hired to design a building that would maximize efficiency in both mechanical facilities and energy. Growth and enrollment also spurred the establishment of men's and women's sports. Named the Cougars, all teams carried the student-chosen colors of blue and white. Student morale and pride was so high that while students across the country were protesting the war and everything else, Kalamazoo Valley students did the reverse, proclaiming the college as the cool school. As the second decade began, the Kalamazoo Valley Community College Foundation was established, and shortly after, Marilyn Schlack became the college's second president. With these events, community support and partnerships continued to grow and flourish. During the 1980s, downtown Kalamazoo faced many challenges. Inspired by President Schlack's belief that a vital downtown was good for everyone, Kalamazoo Valley established a downtown center and developed new partnerships and initiatives to help meet the community's needs. At the community's request, the college assumed the governance of the Regional Public Museum. Kalamazoo Valley also took on a leadership role in the development of the Arcadia Commons in the community's core to form the college's downtown campus. The college raised $20 million to build what became the Kalamazoo Valley Museum, the largest campaign of its kind in the community's history. More than two million visitors have explored the local treasures and fantastic exhibits housed at the KVM. In 1994, continued growth and enrollment resulted in a major expansion of the Texas Township campus. Next, the college established a business, education, and technology park called The Groves. To meet the rapidly changing employment training needs in West Michigan, an amazing public and private partnership was created to fund the construction of an MTech facility on the Groves campus. This is where the college offers fast-track training programs that are designed with input from local employers. Around the same time, the college's downtown footprint was expanded with the establishment of the Center for New Media including three floors of state-of-the-art classrooms, two drawing studios, animation labs, a photography studio, plus five art galleries. Kalamazoo Valley's teaching and learning strategies continue to evolve through the creation of the Student Success Center, providing one-on-one -on -one assistance to students and the personal touch they need to be successful. Next, the college became a national player in wind turbine technology and manpower training. In recent years, the general health of the community has become a significant issue. As a national trendsetter, the college established a smoke-free campus. And now, in cooperation with Bronson Healthcare and Kalamazoo Community Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, Kalamazoo Valley has established the Bronson Healthy Living Campus in downtown Kalamazoo, all part of the college's efforts to increase community understanding of and access to healthy food and nutrition. Nearly 300,000 are or have been students at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. Our graduates are now in 49 states and Puerto Rico. Congratulations, Kalamazoo Valley Community College, for 50 years of meeting the needs of our students and the community through partnerships, innovation, technology, and compassion.